Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at Catch the Rise uh, Ferocious Cup run um, trainer based out of California um, rocking a very interesting team uh, with Alolan Sand Slash, Skunk Tank, Alolan Ninetales, um, uh, Shalgon, Umbreon, and B-Barrel. Uh, his first opponent is going to be Daff Lord, um, Needle Queen, Lanoon, uh, Alolan Ninetales, uh, Alolan Raticade, Vaporeon, and B Barrel. So, no Umbreon on that team. So, let's see how Catch the Right decides to respond. Gonna lead Shelgon, catches the lead. Um, this is a positive matchup. Does want to. Um, okay, let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, here comes. Oh, interesting. Going into Skunk Tank. Um, I thought, uh, I'm pretty sure carrying Alolan Sand Slash as well. Um, but gonna look to crunch first and then oh gonna let go interesting oh it gets ice beam jesus <laughs> okay definitely was not expecting the ice beam there um gonna go into a uh, lone sand slash uh this nine tails is pretty low on health so gonna be able to farm a little bit then go for this ice punch does not have boldo so that's why i thought you know um that Skunk Tank would have been a better switch in uh, versus the Charmer. They're going to switch back into Shellgon and catch. Well, uh, well, I guess running pretty low on health, so the shield probably makes sense. And going to be met by Needle Queen. Going to look to Flamethrower. Let's see if a shield does come up. And nope, shield does not come up. And this is going to put a ton of pressure onto this Needle Queen. Uh, shield does come up on catch the right side and get a shield and then hit this twister and I'm gonna put a lot of pressure onto this uh, b-barrel and oh, man this this shell gone this um uh, shell gone uh, this alone sand slash might not have enough health to survive this surf <sighs> it's gonna be close it's gonna be very close and just barely enough to be able to survive and able to win this match gg those ice punches are ultra spammy uh so good job in the first game uh now we move on to the second game of this matchup gonna lead shalgon again gonna be met by this alone radicate i have no idea how this matchup goes um i'm assuming in the favor of alone radicate uh, but this Dragon Breath damage is very oppressive. It does catch the charge move, uh, which is not good. Uh, but gonna immediately switch out into a Lone Sand Slash, which is what I would was it, which is what I would expect. Um, gonna farm up a little bit, and then gonna look to hit this Gyro Ball. Um, it's very debatable on this move set. Some people are not expecting this Gyro Ball, and it KOs, uh, taking out the. Wow. Okay. And coming in with Nido Queen, oh my gosh, into a Alone and Sand Slash, that is not good. Um, Nido Queen's Poison Jabs are absolutely doing no damage. These Ice Punchers are super spammy, going to deal super effective damage along with these Powder Snow. And wow, okay, it's definitely going to shield. Uh, expect a little bit of a farm uh, from Catch the Rye, uh, maybe even enough to get to two uh, Ice Punchers. Oh no, going to Ice Punch right away. okay, never mind. Doesn't want to take any risk. Um, oh, I guess probably knew it was going to KO. And here comes a lone Raticade. Uh, if this is a crunch, it'll probably KO. And expect the Shellgon to come back out. And the Shellgon is doing a ton of damage with Dragon Breath. Uh, gonna let this crunch go through. And it's gonna do a pretty decent amount. And this Twister. Is gonna come through. Um, there's nothing in the back that can beat. Oh, well, okay. Listen, the match is not quite over yet. So, uh, gonna switch out into Skunk Tank, I imagine. Oh no, this is the, this is the last Pokemon game. Never mind. Clearly not paying attention. Oh, I forgot that Lola Night Tails got one shot it. Okay, that's what throws me off. When uh, all right, gonna lead with a Lola Night Tails. Expect the media switch out into Skunk Tank. Um, which is going to be the more flexible Pokemon for any Pokemon that's going to switch in and does get uh, quite a bit of energy. 
uh, but is below 50% health at this point in time. So does have to worry about the water gun faint down. Um, oh, that is not good luck at all. Uh, gonna get surfed. Um, would have ideally liked to um, uh, to be able to. Oh man, okay. Uh, gonna put some pressure onto this uh, B barrel. No shield comes up. Oh man, this did not wait long enough on that switch clock. Is now stuck in this matchup and gonna be stuck against this Alolan um, Night Tails. And let's see. What charge move is going to be? It's going to be an ice beam. That's going to do a pretty decent chunk. And here comes Alolan Raticade. And if we're to wait, being able to wait with that switch clock, it probably catches the ride. It's going to have a really hard time winning this match. Um, does resist these uh, quick attacks and is ultra spamming um, and has two shields. So uh, obviously a shield's going to come up. And. I'm gonna look to want to land an, another ice punch. I do expect the shield to come up from uh, Lone Radicate. May actually probably gonna be able to pull this off. Oh wow, no shield. Okay, well, that's definitely well, well, okay, debatable. Uh, just gonna be able to straight ice punch. And oh man, that was a, a massive incorrect shield there. Um, maybe. Um, Maybe if would have shielded, um, could have survived uh, and potentially won the matchup. But catch the ride, turning around a pretty bad situation. I actually thought would have been at a pretty big disadvantage. Going to be met by uh, Ramberto. Uh, Ramberto auto switching into Vaporeon. Uh, Vaporeon can win the two shield matchup against Skunk Tank just for its ability to to get to these charge moves so quickly. Um, catch the ride, recognizing that and going to go for. The sludge bomb uh, to deal a ton of damage, uh, but now is in a pretty bad situation. And Ramberto, excellent at counting, and does the aqua tail just in the nick of time. Um, another crunch, a crunch coming through. Let's see if a shield decides to come up. Uh, shield does decide to go up, and now doesn't have switch advantage, but gonna be able to come in with Umbreon and put a lot of pressure. Onto, onto this Vaporeon, uh, but let's see if Ramberto has a counter uh, to uh, to alone Saint Slash in the back, uh, and gonna be met by oh here comes B Barrel um, again. This is not a great situation uh, for Catch the Rise, especially with no Bulldoze. I'm only gonna be able to do not very super effective damage. But is up a shield and gonna be able to spam super quickly uh, against this B barrel. And is it gonna be enough? It's gonna definitely be able to land one more uh, ice punch, which is not gonna be enough to KO. I'm uh, gonna put, but gonna put this B barrel at super low health. And this is basically gonna be the deciding factor whether or not this B barrel can get off a charge move. It can, leaving this. Uh, B barrel at super low health. This Umbreon is going to be able to farm a little bit, uh, but going to be able to switch out, and it's already GG at this point in time. Uh, winning that switch advantage uh, uh, was uh, was enough, and then getting outpicked in the back. Let's see, this is an ice beam or side shock. Okay, definitely don't do a side shock. That could actually <laughs> cost uh, Ramberto the match. Um, but in this case, it, it didn't. Um, kind of a reckless uh, side shock. Side shock actually does less damage uh, than um, than a charm. Um, so gonna go Shelgon into Needle Queen. So Shelgon can win the one shield matchup uh, strictly by by spamming Twister. This is something Catcher I definitely already knows. Um, Needle Queen has to shield one of these, and and then here comes the Earth Power. Unless there's a defense drop, uh, this should be a pretty favorable matchup. Oh, does uh, gonna switch into a lone nine tails? Um, man, Ramberto. Ah, man, I would be surprised if he's gonna see this coming because it's definitely gonna one shot. Oh man, and that is absolutely devastating. Um, yeah, that that uh, gyro ball just does so much damage, and um, but now. 
uh, Rimberto recognizing that can come in with a pointing on, but then these these uh, ice punch spam is for real. Um, I don't know, like I think he potentially could have uh, tried to farm farm it all the way down, because uh, now it left in a pretty bad situation um, against this Umbreon. And gonna have no recourse uh, for the Umbreon in the back, and gonna be left with Needle Queen. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised the to, to come. Let's see how uh, Rimberto decides to play this out. No, uh, Rimberto plays it out, and Kesarai is gonna respond. Gonna hit the foul play right away, or gonna farm a little bit, looking to farm just a little bit, um, knowing that it needs a little bit of advantage uh, versus Needle Queen. Not too much, to be honest. Uh, and gonna put a little bit of pressure, and this is gonna be enough to allow um, a switch out. Oh no, gonna just straight up gonna oh, man, that is a very nice move. Recognizing doesn't need to switch out. You're just gonna put a ton of pressure on, and then these dragon breaths are gonna KO. It doesn't really matter. Um, not gonna be able to get another enough uh, poison jabs before fainting, and able to take. That really tough um, uh, second second game matchup against Ramberto. Uh, now they're going to move on to game number three. Uh, that Alolan Sand Slash with that Gyro Ball absolutely devastating, uh, and going to be going to meet this Alolan. Uh, going to meet this Neo Queen. Not a great situation at all. Um, these Ice Punchers are going to do a lot of damage to Neo Queen. So let's see if Shield does come up. Does not come up. Oh man, I expect a shield and then a farm down of this Neo Queen because these poison jabs are absolutely doing no damage. And gonna be met by um, by Vaporeon. And this uh, Umbreon is so amazing, is that it's able it's gonna be able to beat this uh, Vaporeon despite it having an energy advantage. And potentially could shield one less and this is not good at all uh, for for Vaporeon and Roberto uh, catch the right in absolute control in this matchup. Gonna foul play. This is not gonna KO a Vaporeon. And let's see. Uh, this is not gonna KO Umbreon either. Gonna put it super low. That's how crazy it is that it doesn't KO. Uh, and Roberto trying to sneak in. And uh, faint down, or I don't know, was just gonna sack that Needle Queen. Um, okay, all right, not in a good position. Uh, and here comes this uh, Alone Sand Slash, and really just needs to Ice Punch it uh, to burn these shields, and then it's pretty much over. Um, if it doesn't shield this Gyro Ball, the match is absolutely over. Uh, does shield it. And gonna look to hit the charge move, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Ramberto decides to switch out. But the Vaporeon is way too low health, and um, just didn't do enough to count uh, on it. And then it was gonna lose anyways, because I think it was Skunk Tank in the back. Uh, but GG, uh, Ramberto catch catch the Rai, catching a very tough trainer, and. Going to move on to the next round, uh, which is going to be against Drake Flames, running a very spicy team uh, with Nido King, uh, Raikou, and um, and Grand Bull. And ooh, I really should add this part better. Not sure why we haven't. Okay, all right. Let's go into this matchup. And going to have the Umbreon versus Umbreon matchup. Very classic matchup. Not that exciting. Gonna look to QSA. Uh, but looks like they're both trying to QSA. Um, which, uh, here comes the last resort. And then here comes the responding last resort. And they're both gonna be one snarl away from hitting a last resort. I don't think that QSA necessarily did anything, but um, 
I'm not sure what this uh, opposing Umbreon is trying to do. Gonna hit this last resort, and then gonna want to hit this another last resort, and put this Umbreon at pretty low health. And. And the Umbreon looks like it's in foul play range, to be honest. Okay, which is what Keshrai is seeing as well. And able to win the lead. But sometimes you don't want to win the lead because something like this happens where Skunk Tank gets a pretty big advantage. Uh, but going to be met by Alolan Sand Slash, which is absolutely going to do a ton of damage. Going to spam really quickly. Um, does have to worry about these crunch damage. And going to be met by B Barrel. Uh, wants to chip away at this B Barrel, anyways. Uh, so, going to switch into uh, Alolan Ninetales. Uh, could tank this. And might still win out the matchup, very likely. And then going to look to Ice, gonna ice Beam. Oh, man. I think that was definitely a mistake. Um, had the opportunity to, uh, I don't want to say it's over yet, uh, but not going for that um, Psy Shock was going to be really costly. Really just need to put a little bit of pressure onto the Skunk Tank, but still could win at this matchup, which is going to be the crazy part. That's how crazy alone Sand Slash is. Um, it's very likely going to beat... Uh, a skunk tank to the next charge move. Oh man, that is crazy how quickly it's able to spam. Uh, that really didn't make too much sense uh, how, how that matchup played out just because each uh, each crunch, it should go like 13 crunch, 13, uh, 13 to, to the first one. Well, I guess they need multiple ones. Uh, that's really like Three versus four. Something like that. Anyways, um, gonna catch the lead. Um, and expecting the switch out. And gonna s switch out into Umbreon. Umbreon, again, one of those Pokemon that can switch into a Water Gunner and still win the matchup. It's just very tanky. And here comes the, the Umbreon. And here comes the surf, and this this uh, foul play is not gonna k KO uh, the speed barrel. Uh, but the question is, gonna look to KO the speed barrel, and let's see what comes in. A uh, not uh, uh, Umbreon, and gonna be able to hit this last resort. Uh, but this Umbreon is going to be able to farm up a good amount of energy. Uh, let's see how aggressive it is. Oh, man. That is terrible for the opposing Umbreon. The right idea, but um, it's at over 100 energy right now. So I'm going to come with a little Ninetales. Uh, don't expect a shield to come up. Here comes the last resort. Uh, another last resort is probably going to come. Oh, we're going to switch out into... Oh man, again, not hitting that charge move, uh, but going to be met by by this uh, Grand Bull. Uh, Grand Bull going to put a little bit of pressure on, um, but I do expect uh, a decent farm down, and it's going to have a ton of energy, and just expect multiple ice punches uh, coming right now. First shield comes up, and then the KO range here. The spam from... <laughs> Alolan Sand Slash is for real. That is absolutely nuts. Um, GG. Uh, taking the second game and taking the round. Let's see if they decide to play a third. Oh, okay. Yep, deciding to play a third. Uh, coming with that shiny... Okay, all right. Uh, I'm not sure why staying in this matchup. These, these, uh, these charms are not like charms from Alolan Ninetales. They absolutely do a ton of damage. Why? Oh, I guess had not really had a choice there. And 
A shield coming up. Oh, man. <laughs> Tried to go for the KO there. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, man. Okay. Putting this alone sand slash at pretty low health. And then here comes Umbreon. Umbreon's going to be able to tank these ice punches. But this is going to be a lot of ice punches. Uh, here comes another one. I uh, did do a, a fast move in between, uh, so it should be, oh man, okay. Let's see what shield decides to come up. It doesn't, does not, and goes to the dark pulse. Interesting. And here comes the last resort. Can an opposing Umbreon beat another Umbreon at this health. It's definitely not going to be the case. I'm going to switch out to B Barrel. This is not good for Ketsurai, but I've already called a couple matches against him and he was able to pull it out, but this would be a pretty tough one to pull out. Um, here comes a shield. And this is not going to KO the B Barrel. So I do select... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is not going to KO either. And this B-Barrel should be able to get to uh, the last charge move. Or, but this uh, doesn't really matter. This is uh, game number three. Uh, catch the right already moving into the finals. And um, GG. Okay, moving into the last matchup against R6 Racing R6. Rocking no, no, <laughs> a little nine tails, which is... Uh, uh, which is going to be a very favorable matchup for, again, both of them QSA, and it becomes like this really annoying match. Um, and they're both one, they basically have the same energy, it doesn't really matter. Um, and they're both going to be looking to QSA. Again, it doesn't really matter, they're already past 100 energy, so... Arctic Racing recognizing that he needs to get out every advantage he can. And here comes Shalgon spamming those short man. No check to uh, uh, Shalgon and Umbreon just means it's going to have an absolute field day. Going to go in mine in, which I actually think is a terrible move. Um, oh, man, what does this mine in do for it? Like a sacrifice? Like, I don't know, maybe a swift. Nope, discharge. Okay, all right. Even though Swift is probably going to be worse. Um, going to get Dragon Breath down. Basically, sacrifice that mine in. Um, and here comes Needle Queen. And you're going to see multiple Twisters coming through. And, ugh, man. And if it doesn't do the charge move... Oh man, this is terrible, terrible. I expect the Alolan Sand Slash uh, B Barrel to come out. It doesn't really matter. Umbreon. Uh, and then gonna tank this charge move from the Needle Queen. And I expect no shield and then a water gun down from this uh, B Barrel. Coming in with that mine in was absolutely a humongous mistake. on R6 racing side, but running a very gutsy team, uh, but it has, definitely has huge issues with a team that's running uh, two Pokemon that have like very many positive matchups uh, for four different reasons. And here comes Umbreon, and gonna look to switch out into Shalgon. Oh, interesting switch. Here comes the Oh, Last Resort. Okay, that's a mistake. Um, probably was QSA in Last Resort. Uh, Should have... Oh, man. Why go Last Resort? And a lot of people don't like shielding their Umbreon. And this is... Gonna let it go. Last Resort again? What the heck is happening? This is Umbreon only... Didn't we see it? Maybe it only has last resort. Uh, 
really should have won that matchup. Uh, yeah, not in a great situation at all. With that B-Barrel, going to be matched up against a Needle Queen in the back and this Umbreon happening an absolute ton of energy. Um, and uh, Shield comes up, and I expect the switch out into B-Barrel. Um, does have to worry about this Earth Power coming through again. Uh, but able to get off the Surf before this Needle Queen gets to the Earth Power, which is going to be huge. Um, and Earthquake. Earthquake, right? Earthquake, yeah. And going to put a lot of pressure onto this Needle Queen. And this Foul Play is going to KO. And unless this, this Shell God is going to pull off an absolute mirror, Miracle, this is not going to KO either. Oh, it could actually still win the matchup, to be honest. Uh, if it's able to get to, a, unless this is a Flamethrower. Uh, if this is just a Twister, it's not going to be enough. Oh, it's a Flamethrower. Wow. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. I, I literally counted R6 racing out of that matchup. Wow. Okay. We have ourselves a finals. Jesus. Wow. That was very impressive play. Um, uh, Catcher Eye probably should have farmed up a little bit more against that Needle Queen. Or, or potentially actually took a page out of R6 Racing Book and actually last resorted uh, that Shell Gone. And I'm going to take out this. Uh, I'm going to switch out. Recognizing the it has two safe switches, right? Like... Um, does Hyper Fang and switching out into Umbreon. Let's see if uh, Shield does not come up. Oh, has foul play. Okay, gonna eventually. Uh, but man, met by this alone Nine Tails, and it's pretty much GG here. Uh, that was a brilliant no shield um, by Catch the Rye. And make sure it wants to make sure it has this alone nine tails and just gonna be able to really oppress this this B barrel. And yeah, this this is absolutely over. Um I said this multiple times and I've been wrong on this cast. And here comes the surf. And here comes the surf. And here comes Umbreon. Uh, doesn't even need to do a charge move. Going to be able to snarl straight down and take out this B-Barrel. GG. Uh, really excellent play on Catch the Rise side. Uh, really leveraging Shellgon and Umbreon and reading the team really effectively. R6 Racing, uh, kudos to you for not not running uh, <laughs> a Charmer uh, because it definitely leaves you quite vulnerable uh, to Shellgon Umbreon combination. So anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, if you guys like this video and want to see more videos like this, uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment below, like this video, and I'll see everyone in the next one.